you said mobile home parks and you said multifamily. I do. Well, we did. We have seen a softening in those in those areas already. Um, and do I think it might continue? I do. And the reason for that is, for some reason, especially with multifamily, there's there's just an appetite at the banks for this stuff. Banks do want to make multifamily loans. And then you also have your Fannie Mae money that qualifies for multifamily, which it doesn't qualify for any other asset class in the commercial world. So. No office is like the debt is a disaster there. So we don't even talk about that. Let's just talk about mobile home park, multifamily, maybe, you know, as the main two. Do, do you, what's your sense on like this 2024? Is it the best buying opportunity we're going to see in a lot of years? Do you feel like the, there's more distress coming? Like what's your take on, on, on just that whole market? And by the way, are you seeing distress from the people that you're loaning the money to? Yeah, I'm glad that you pointed out those couple of asset classes there. Um, and you didn't mention housing. And I, I like that because housing is not really at risk. We all know that there's an inventory problem and there's just not enough of it. So we're continually continuing to see property appreciation, even in a challenging high interest rate environment. Now, you said mobile home parks and you said multifamily. I do. Well, we did. We have seen a softening in those in those areas already. Um, and do I think it might continue? I do. And the reason for that is. For some reason, especially with multifamily, there's there's just an appetite at the banks for this stuff. Banks do want to make multifamily loans. And then you also have your Fannie Mae money that qualifies for multifamily, which it doesn't qualify for any other asset class in the commercial world. So that, that amount of liquidity has held cap rates down. Um, so obviously a lower cap rate means a higher valuation. Um, and to the point, the negative leverage, which you brought up just a few minutes ago, we are still seeing negative leverage in the multifamily space. Negative leverage, for those that don't understand it, means the cap rate is lower than the money you are borrowing. So you, the more money you put into a project, the higher your cash on cash return is. So it's very strange and it's not normal. Normally, you want to see your debt rates much lower than your cap rates. So I, I I go into a little detail there, Brett, because I think if interest rates stay high, which we do think there'll be some softening, but it's it's still going to stay high. I think cap rates have to come up to at least match or go above the debt rates. And that's going to bring valuations down. So that will create some opportunities, in my opinion. Um, and especially some of the larger class A stuff where we have hedge funds just handing the keys over, right? That obviously is happening in office, but it's happening in multifamily as well.